Hello, listener, or people I'm pitching this to, or somebody who found this in the deepest recesses of space. Uh, welcome to what is kind of sort of a pilot episode for something we're calling the Generations Podcast, uh, a show where three people from Gen X, Y, and Z just talk about stuff. Um, I'm Atlas Novak. Uh, I'm the Millennial. Who else is here? Huh. <laughs> I'm, do you know the genetic marvel? Uh, I would... I'm like right on the cusp of uh, when it's Gen Gen X and uh, Millennial, but I'm I'm also the youngest of five, so I'm I'm an old fuddy duddy, like I I complain about we were snappers and stuff, so I'm an old guy, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, here to talk about how shit things are. Let's bring it on. <laughs> wow, what what an act to follow. Uh, and I'm uh, Nick Fernandez, and uh, I guess I would be uh, Gen Z. Is that is that is that the uh, the archetype I'm here for? I guess uh, so. I mean, you're I, the new model. I'm I I don't know. I really don't know. The, understand the rules of D and D. So I'm just I'm just here, <laughs> and I, I I think there's something about dice, but I, I made an order on Amazon. It's not here yet. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm excited, and uh, I'll do an accent if, if you know, if they, um, I have to play a goblin or something. So an uh, accent? What, what, yeah. What, whatever, whatever, whatever you guys need. I don't think an accent qualifies as goblin. Sorry, just... is this not the audition for Critical Role? Is this not? No. Is it... <laughs> what kind of accents can you do? I'm terrible with accents. <laughs> The only one I'm really good at is the like, Irish I got accent. Like three, I got like three good accents. I I, I can do. Uh, I'm half Indian, half Italian, so I can do passable of each, uh, and uh, oh. I I can do I can hold a British accent for about ten to fifteen seconds, and then I start to lose it. Um, but uh, killer yeah. stitch, I can do a killer stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. Well, don't don't just tease us like that. Like... <laughs> I got to work into it. I oh, got to okay. work into it. You know, it, I have that problem. I was like, yeah. I can do voices, but it's like, tell oh. me what you want me to say. And they're like, just say something. I'm like, I don't know what you want me to say. Yeah. Like oh, I do, oh, I do a I got mean a, Sean Connery. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Ohana Lunds Bamawa. That, yes. <laughs> wow. Like, oh. That's creepy. Yeah, it's very creepy. Family creepy. means creepy. no one gets all, left behind. All I can't of my friends. All of my friends hate when I do that voice because you, you can just draw. I could slip it into any conversation and it immediately makes it creepy. It's like, well, one of the hollow your poppers, you know, that seems like a fair use of it. Let's yeah, be honest, like yeah. that's, that's yes. pretty reasonable. It is parody. Something... Yeah, you can't, uh, you can't, uh, it, it, and it, it borders on Smeagol, you know, sometimes. Mm. Um, I can slip into a pretty good end yeah the only the only one i can really do like i used to work in a call center in college and i would do like a british accent just to make it fun for myself mm -hmm. like and also because for some reason people are more likely to not um, hang up on you or just be nicer to you when you're british for some reason yeah. um but uh yeah like it, it was that or i got okay at doing an irish one but oh you got to start it with the O, oh, otherwise it doesn't really fit you know talking in an irish accent's pretty hard you got to do that kind of sing songy thing yeah with you it. gotta yeah. gotta sing with it like yeah. it, it's kind of uh, for a little shot of jameson like you gotta <laughs> oh lassie like, yeah. it's all it's always like you're kind of out of breath you know i've watched That's gangs in new york three times in a row and the accent just stuck you know <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis confuses me, you know. <laughs> he, he is confused, but also sexually. Oh, That's pretty yeah. fair. Yeah. He I'm had going like to a cobbler. What from like the '90s up until what Lincoln was like his. You uh, know, I know he's supposed to be no. some amazing actor, but I've probably seen like I don't know three or four of his movies. But hasn't he only done like six or something? He he does well, like one every five years or something like that. Um, yeah, because he's got like my left foot. Uh, I haven't the, seen it. The Crucible. No, Last of the Mohicans. 
Last of the Mohicans, I think. I haven't seen it. Uh, Gangs of New York. There will have, be blood. I've seen it. I've yeah. seen it. Lincoln. I've seen it. Yeah. I but, only saw the Vampire Lincoln. I never watched the oh, normal one. That's the like, fun one, though. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the real one was good. Was it? Yeah, yeah. It really like made you uh, made you think about Lincoln. So, it's what you yeah, signed up for. Right? You, you sit down yeah. for for a movie about Lincoln, and it was about Lincoln. And, <laughs> And like well, that's the thing. It's like it's not really like anyone was the there. Product. That I could was, be like, I was, oh, I was so, you know, <laughs> I got exactly what I paid for. <laughs> I don't think people go to the movies and like give it a good review after doing that. This is exactly what I expected. Five stars. Yeah, yeah. like what, when I go to see what's supposed to be a terrible. Like I went to see uh, Batman versus Superman in theaters, and. Uh, I knew it was terrible. Like it, it was, it was built. Like it, all of the reviews were terrible, and I was like, "It, I know it's going to be terrible." So what I did was, I, I, I had my friend drive, and we picked up McDonald's, and I snuck in McDoubles, and nice. I, I had a well edible strategically, uh, right before going in, uh, and then that way, like you know, there's the. 20 minutes that you're just preamble you get your popcorn you sit down and everything like that uh and then so that the edible would hit you know 40 minutes into the movie ideally uh and and then right before you go in after you get your seats you go step back outside i forgot something in the car and then you smoke a really big joint uh and then you go in and uh, and batman versus superman is an incredible movie (laughs) Uh, it's it was it was an amazing experience. Like, it, what was it? Two hours and fifteen minutes of of just like punching and uh, you know Lex okay. Luthor doing inexplicable things, uh, and, and you know it, it, it was a great time. And uh, <laughs> I that is the key to happiness is to approach things with a low expectation and high as a kite. You you, you manage your expectations, and, uh, and and you know you're able to make it through Thanksgiving. That's true. That oh, did true. you do that and then went back home to your family, or what was the? No, no. This is just I, I'm applying the same framework to like this oh, is oh. how you approach Thanksgiving. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'd be like I, I forgot something in the car, but I unpacked all of your stuff. No, no, no. no. I forgot something. Giant joint. No, you, you go for a walk. There to you walk go. After the meal, to like, so you can like you know digest and be able to have dessert. And that's when you smoke the joint. Yeah, See, the definitely. problem is that my mom has a ridiculously good sense of smell, so she'll be like, "Somebody's well, high." You know, here's the thing: is Edible. that is that there is a trade-off. You have to go for a walk, like you have to go for a legitimate walk. Like oh, it's like got to be like thirty minutes. It's got to be a thirty-minute walk. You know, like you're oh, yeah. going around the around the neighborhood. You know, and you light as soon as you leave. And then, by the way, by the, you know, you're done 10 minutes into the walk, you got 20 minutes to look at the pretty colors and then compose yourself to get back inside. You know? mm. uh, I think yeah. that works better if your family has a dog, because then you can be like, I'm taking the dog for a walk. Like, no one's mm-hmm. going to, yeah. like, you can be gone for 45 minutes in, or an you, hour. You, you uh, make a good point. Yeah. And, and we are actually getting a dog. Well, my parents are. Uh, yeah. And I'll get to enjoy the dog for all of the good parts, and then I'll be like, I'm going home. You know? Because <laughs> <laughs> the perks when you move out, but say hi to Cooper. Uh, this is Cooper. Aww. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cooper. It looks like a... It's a, uh, it's a golden doodle. Oh, okay. So, so useless. Nice. <laughs> they're, they're, they're really, really, uh, really cute. And, uh, I found out like a, a negative thing about like do- like I didn't know this about dogs that um, you can't run with them until they're like two or three years old. Yeah, well, okay. or else you'll mess up their hips and stuff. And, oh, and you'll, and you'll like you'll like hurt, and they'll they'll have like hip dysplasia and stuff in the future. Like so, you you, you have to like wait until they're fully like you know um, grown and their joints are are set before you can like truly like. You know, run with them for like a half hour or an hour. Like, otherwise, you can just like you can do like little sprints with them so that they can learn that. But like, otherwise, you can just you have to walk them, which is interesting. 
I didn't know about that because usually when depends uh, on the breed. Depends on the breed. I know that like labs have the the hip problems. Um, because like we had labs growing up, and my mom always like when she would get dogs, she never got a puppy. She would get like a one or two year old dog who maybe they needed some training, but it was still something that you would like. They, they would be not freaking out at everything they see, like you know, yeah, or chewing on stuff, all that kind of thing. A lot of a lot of dogs have that problem though. So huskies do, Alaskan Malamutes. Yeah, la- yeah, there's a lot of dogs that have that because they're not. They are, yeah. they're, puppies are clumsy, right? Like, that's, yeah. that's really. You know? I'm bored, it's fucking like, boring, by the way. Just yeah, extremely. Just to be very clear. Extremely. It, okay. extremely. I but, wanted to make but, sure. Yeah, it, but it, it, was, it was a decent tangent. But I did just move to, to Markham, and um, there's a, a. It's a, a region of uh, the GTA uh, for you, Alice. Uh, and they, uh, it's a very heavily Asian area. So yeah. a lot of their dogs are, um, are like, uh, what, what are the ones with the, like the fat butts? Uh, Cor- she- Shibas? Corgi? Corgis. Yeah. Oh, there's corgi. so many corgis. I love corgis. Shibas are the expensive version of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and there's, there's so many of them and they're like, or it's like the Bichon Frise that are like immaculately groomed. Um, so right. I, I've been running a lot, so like when I I just go around and I I just have like little giggles all throughout my neighborhood because the, they're just ridiculous looking dogs. Yeah, they right? are because because <laughs> they look like cartoons. They look like anime characters. Cor- corgis <laughs> literally look like you told a child to draw a dog and like they were gonna do the tail, but they got distracted and they just put the pencil down and walked off somewhere yes. else. Yes. <laughs> Have yeah. you seen the video of a lady? It, she has her corgi and she puts on the anime face, like for animals, and so it's like looking at her with like these big, giant anime yeah. eyes. Yeah, and you're just like, that's, that's yeah, that's exactly what I picture when I see that dog. That's just how it is. <laughs> and you're like, fuck, it's not a dog. It doesn't do anything. It's just a big ass. I have to address the lack of elephant in the room. Um, lack right. of elephant in the room? Do there you know, are no why problems. Are you so much smaller than the last time I saw you. So There's uh, so much less of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, uh I'm I've lost like eighty pounds. Hey, since, congrats. Uh, yeah, it's I I usually crack a joke about it that I'm like, ah, I forgot my Uber password, so now I have to go get food instead of having it delivered to my fat ass. Yeah. So <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's I've I've lost eighty pounds and I've watched everyone else get fatter and it's been so good. <laughs> I, like, I hate oh, to break it to you, bud. I, uh, I, I joined you as got, well. I, I'm a much yeah, much leaner. That's not fair. Well. You weren't you Sorry. weren't fat to begin hey, with, so that's not I, I was puffy. Right I was hey, puffed. If it makes you feel any better, I lost no weight, but I gained no weight either. I managed to be, Hey, that's a win. I, a I managed win. to maintain equilibrium. I was two twenty five at the beginning, I'm two twenty five now. The way I see it, that's someone who can like boast about their mental health. You're like, hey, during quarantine, stayed the same way. People are like, Oh, that guy's got it going on. <laughs> that guy knows how to that guy's living his best Teach life. Teach me your know? ways, guru. <laughs> right? Stacy's no, mom needed... managed to not shoot herself. Oh, like, <laughs> come on! Yeah. The fact I just that had so to gain a are... new addiction. Like, I just got a, a addicted to to working out and exercising. I'm not proud Good. of this, guys. I am not proud of this. I I hate who I've become as a person. I I I, I speak to my family members and the people around me about exercising oh. and, how, and how much I enjoy it. I've mm-hmm. become the thing that I hate. Like I, I I am like like Dino. You are my Obi Wan, and I am coming to you as former Anakin, now Darth Vader. Like, I've become I, everything that I, I swore I to destroy. Listen, listen I'll, I'll, I'll stand with you on that fucking crucifix because, dude, I've had to give up bread. Like, just no. for my health. Bread and, is so like, fun! But bread is the best, okay? The best. It is. And <laughs> so the thing is, so my wife has been... She made some changes into her diet as well, so she doesn't eat carbs uh but she's doing it with a doctor and stuff so it's a longer process but she's she's lost quite a bit of weight too and she feels great about herself and everything so it's good in that fashion but then like for me i'm like i still will have sandwiches and stuff but now i've uh uh i have to just make some changes with regards to like refined flowers and stuff like that so i'm not like like i'll still have some crackers and shit like that but nothing too crazy so trust me my wife was like, "Hey, maybe you should be gluten free," and I was like, yeah. no! 
I can't. It's too Dude, much. Dude, my, my, a friend of mine has celiac disease. So, like, the people who have oh, to be gluten-free has, yeah. or your body will attack you. And she's like, bread's really fucking hard to give up, man. It's, yeah. it's that good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, this is so, the funny thing, too, is that – so, okay, I'm not sure, Atlas, if you know about this, but I know that Nicholas does, is that, like, a normal Med- Mediterranean meal will have, like – fresh bread and like just a bowl with garlic olive oil balsamic vinegar just to yeah. dip it okay yeah and you just dip bread in it and eat and it's we're talking that can be like ambrosia for all i know because you eat that and you're going this is the best thing ever but yeah. especially like also it's from... kind of sweet like it's a little little bit sweet like and so that kind of makes it so that you just can't stop eating it Right, like even the, the taste of yeah. it, like it, the the bread is so fresh that it, it it's not yeah. it's not just savory. It's also it's like not and so you, you sweet. never it's bread sweet. It's the, a bread the bread like and you never get full. You yeah, never get full. And, and there's oh. like and because the vinegar and the oil never mix with each other, it's like fun to watch. Oh, right? it's a treat yeah. for the eye. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then the worst part is you finish it and the waiter comes and gives you more. You're like, you bastard! Yeah. You've killed us. Listen, that's. <laughs> One of the things that honestly, like, it burns my ass that, like, my wife and I, we would get that wherever we went out. Now we can't go out, but it's like we can't have it at home because she's like, well, I can't have it and you shouldn't be having it. So I'm like, fuck, it sucks. But, yeah. Uh, the other day, I, uh, I, I just cut a slice of butter and just, like, ate, like, ate it while I was, like, cooking eggs. And, I, and then, like, but, Usually I just use uh, unsalted butter, but this time I got salted butter, uh, and then I just I had a piece of salted butter, and it had been like so long since I just had a, a piece of salted butter, um, and your, it immediately your eyes popped, glazed over, yeah, and you're like ah. it immediately made me like flow back in time in, in space and and into like a like a, a few weeks date of the last time I take. Yeah. I realized like. I have such a a sense memory uh, a connection to to salted butter to italian weddings in halls because you know you know when they bring out the fresh bread and then there's the bowls of butter but they're the little butter balls with like they're patterned and like yeah Yeah, like like they're in a flower or something yes yeah yeah like they they protrude like they're almost (laughs) and then i would just like as a kid like i would just eat those like you know throughout the night during a wedding and then like just because they're amazing yeah it's amazing it's salted butter butter is awesome my uh, arteries oh, be damned. <laughs> no, I Dude. grew up in a household where we couldn't have bu- butter because my sister c- couldn't eat like things with like high fat. So we were a margarine oh, household okay. all, of, all oh, the time. We'd margarine is margarine. not food, eh? You know that, right? Like margarine it's, it's is delicious, not yeah. food. Hi, margarine yeah, is not it's... food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a great one. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's that's why it's like, yeah, it's better to eat butter. But at the same time, like margarine is like it's a nothing, it's it's a non, it's a consumable non-food item. It's very weird. But yeah, dude, oh butter and bread. I'm like I could live off that. Uh, uh, my nephew every once in a while will bake bread, and it's like a six-hour process, like where he's like letting it rest and folding it in a certain way, and then he's got a razor to cut the top. All that bullshit. Yeah. The stuff that you see on TV. He How... does that every so often. Yeah, How old's your nephew? Well. Uh, he's only uh, four years younger than I am. I'm oh, okay. so okay. To explain <laughs> the age displacement is the way youngest that youngest of five, you said. Yeah, so I'm the youngest of five, but my dad is the youngest of nine. So it's it's he's the youngest. So he, me being the youngest of his children, my oldest aunts and uncles, uh, or my oldest, uh, yeah, my oldest aunts and uncles, their kids are uh, as old as my parents. Oh, yeah. So it's because like, think about it. You have nine kids. It was spread out over like 15 years. And remember, this is Greece in, in the boonies. Right. So yeah. people get pregnant at 14. That that just happens. So uh, why? what are you going to do? What, what were they, what were they doing? I assumed uh, condoms yeah. were against the gods or something. Aren't they still? Come on. Let's, let's be honest. I don't know. That was probably mildly racist of me to say that. So. <laughs> Sorry. No. 
Jingoist. No, uh-huh. it's it's not it's not racist. The 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 Greeks like they they've been they they have a great track record. You can't be you can't be too mean to Greeks. Oh my god. Well, it's I'll not be... it's not so much that, it's that my name is Atlas, so I have like this weird relationship with Greek mythology where I'm like, I'm part of that, sort of. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> How do you feel about rocks? <laughs> Uh, stuff I got to hold on my shoulders, uh, not, 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 not too hot. Let's uh, be honest, Atlas, you if avoid you my name is Atlas Novak and I'm a geologist, people would be like, okay, that makes sense. That's, that was the only job you could ever have had. Like yeah. you're, yeah, that's like, oh yeah, you know, well, I study, I study seismic movement of the earth. I could, yeah, exactly. I could probably just do George's speech from Seinfeld where he pretends he was a marine biologist, but just do rocks, right? The rocks were angry that day, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was talking about this on another uh, uh, another show, was yeah. the idea that people are constantly reinventing themselves, right? Like, mm-hmm. uh, they go move to a new neighborhood, they reinvent themselves. A uh, new job, reinvent themselves. Meet new people, reinvent themselves. And I'm like, what the hell were people doing in high school? Like, that's... I figured out who I was in high school and moved on. Like, I'll be honest. I tried to be something other than Dino for 15 minutes. I thought I had a stroke. Like, I could not do that. I'm like, no, no, no. I've I've committed to who I am, and this is it. Like, I grow as a person, like, emotionally and stuff, but I'm this is me. Like, I can't figure out that whole idea of, oh, I'm just going to reinvent myself. And I'm like, what? I don't get it. Very confusing. So, fun fact: the reason Woodrow Wilson had a stroke was he tried to be not racist for five seconds, <laughs> and then and then Edith had to run run the White House during the end of World War One. That's not how that worked. Uh, <laughs> it's reasonable, though. So, so wait, it's what, possible. what what did what did you figure out uh, during high school that like, like who I wanted to be like that was, was uh, like by by nature I'm an introvert, right? Like I'm I'm happy to not have con- like. Quarantine has been great. I love this. Yeah, okay? can I can I uh, can I just take a second to explain like how I met Dino and what I what I thought of him when I first met him? Because this is it, it, he's not just joking that he's an introvert. Like when we first met, like uh, doing stand up, I I like he he we would be like hanging out outside of bars like before going on on stage, and then I, I would I would, I went up to Dino and I'm like, hey, hey uh, I, I'm Nick. Uh, are you on the show as well? And he's like. Hey man, um, I'm just gonna, yeah, and uh, <laughs> and, and just just kind of turned away, and I was like, uh, all right, all right, and then I'm, like I tried a, a completely separate time of like, hey, I'm, I'm Nick, like uh, you, you, I, I, I liked your stuff last time, and he's like, yeah, thanks, uh, but uh, yeah, before I go on stage, I just uh, I just don't don't really talk to people, so I'm just gonna. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna need you to fuck and off. Just studiously, he would have his phone in his hand, just staring at his phone. Like, and then anyone, anytime anyone would walk up to him, he'd be like, "Nope." <laughs> I'm kind of like it's, that too. It's okay. So eventually, uh, I broke him. I broke him. Like, okay. like a stallion upon the the plains. I had to <laughs> ride him until, and he kept bucking me off. But I had to keep getting on that horse. This is this is the thing is like do you remember uh, Nick we went to that show in Peterborough, all of the shitty ones yes <laughs> okay so so Atlas uh, Nick and I live in the same area but essentially there are uh, like I by the way Nick you were like oh so Markham is a suburb of the GTA and I see Atlas go I don't know what the fuck the GTA thank is. thank you thank yeah. you I live you in Los that? Angeles how am I supposed to know. Hey, so, hey, you you can't be much better. You say Los Angeles, but Los Angeles is a fucking, fucking like huge. continent. Okay. Okay. Like it's I, it's it, it's, it's the size of Rhode Judge Island. Yeah. Uh, LA Ocean. County is the size of Rhode Island, roughly. Yeah. Okay. Um, I live in East Hollywood. That help? Yeah. Okay. We're in Toronto, mm-hmm. Canada. We're in okay. Toronto, Canada. Oh man. Outside Toronto, there are suburbs. Markham is a suburb. Peterborough is like a. It's a, more of a like. It would be a, a suburb in the country, it, you know. Like okay. you would if go you through want a picture like a protractor, you know, like a protractor with like a like degrees. Yeah. You know, like there's Toronto at the center of it, and then 26, like there's just there's 27 just minutes shit. before you brought there's... up math, you piece of shit. Just I know, right? Clear. Yeah, 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 I'm an English go. major. I I, t- I picked that so I wouldn't have to take math classes. <laughs> what did you major in there, Nick? What did you major in? 
or technical actuarial creative. and financial mathematics. I don't want to talk. About it. Fine, <laughs> fuck you. Look, fucking nerd. <laughs> all I'm just gonna say is like finding out you guys are in Toronto. The first thing that popped into my head was, oh my god, I love Rush. <laughs> <laughs> that works. All right. Yeah. Reasonable. That's yeah. You could have been uh, bare naked ladies. That would work too. Mm. Uh, Drake, I love Drake. That works too. You know, he's the only kind of uh, artistic entity of the past, like probably twenty years, that has broken out of Toronto um, or like Canada in general. Like there, there, there haven't been a, like a, a lot of a, a lot of like artists that that have uh, really broken. Like and in comedy, like next to none. Maybe uh, what was well, the Russell last Pe- one? Yeah, Russell Peters and Russell Peters uh, from where I am from. Like, in, who, who in does the, the voice of Batman? Which uh, one? Uh, Will Arnett. Will Arnett and Will Arnett. Like, that's probably the last two like kind of comedic entities yeah. that came There's out a of few uh, our area. Too, there, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we went to a show. Yeah. And I'm sitting at the show, and unbeknownst to me, uh, the the host, the guy who's running the show actually knows a guy I know. And the guy I know was actually at my wedding a few few years prior. However, I've ex- I've said this to Nick and Nick didn't believe me. I'm like, if I don't move in in like bar light, I look like furniture. People will just not even realize I'm there. And because I don't really, I don't move. Like I just sit there quietly. And I just, I'm silent. And this guy walks in. I'm like, hey, I know that guy. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah, he was at my wedding. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah. And I go, he's not going to recognize me. He's like, no, nah, he's going to. I'm like, no. I showed him pictures of him at my wedding on my yeah. phone. I'm like, yeah, this is him at my wedding. Right back there, right there. <laughs> and he just walked by. And then I, I messaged the host who's talking with him. I'm like, hey, do you know that guy? He's like, yeah. I'm like, tell him Dino says hi. And he's like, he's looking now looking around for me. And he did, he couldn't find me because I just I just stood there in the back. Because he, he is like, furniture. <laughs> I, I look like furniture. That is that is a fact. He, well, you like a lot of the time you would wear that uh, like a zip up uh, gray sweater, uh, <laughs> and uh, like probably like sixty percent of the time I would see you at shows, <laughs> like you would wear that zip up gray sweater, and it, it was kind of like uh, you know like the I'm gonna make this so, as nerdy as possible, um, you know like the cloaks that that the uh, the the fellowship wore in Lord of the Rings oh that they God. got <laughs> that kind of makes them look it like like rocks if they don't move. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's the like Gates of Mordor. <laughs> like, that, no. Your your buddy was that was the like those Syrian looking guys with the spears <laughs> that, that that came like right next to Frodo and just like nope, yeah, I can't see him. I wear this blue sweater fucking everywhere, and I have like like a cartoon character. I have like four almost duplicates, where it's the <laughs> same basic style. It's like the the three you know buttons what? or whatever. I call it the dad sweater. Well, that's definitely true, but yeah. I find that having a set uh, choice of clothing for when I do comedy yeah. makes it, 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 it's one thing I don't have to concern myself. So, like, I, I will wear uh, khakis, uh, a funny t-shirt, and a hoodie that zips up. That's it. That's and what I'm... with a leather jacket, right? It's just, yeah. you, you find your uniform. And that's, that's it. Like, it kind of, it gets you into that mode, and I always find, like, that's why having that it changes things. It makes I, things easy. I'm, uh, yeah, funny t-shirt, jeans, dad sweater. Or if it's yeah. hot, just t-shirt, jeans. But I don't like wearing just a t-shirt. Like, my my whole thing is I don't like it. Like, I wear an undershirt under everything. So, it will be middle of, like, peak hot summer, I will have an undershirt on. Because, like, seeing somebody's pit stains, for me, is like, ew, you're dirty. Oh, <laughs> for... <laughs> I'm for like, me, it's I'm just that guy. It's like nah. For me, I'm so self conscious about my legs. I wear pants, you know, with the exception of like gym shorts or a bathing suit. Yeah. Every time, pants. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one thing we should probably tell you about, like uh, that you're probably not familiar with that list, is mm-hmm. um, like up here we have these things called seasons, and uh, <laughs> it's yes, times <laughs> of the year yeah. where. There's different weather conditions, uh, and and sometimes we have to deal with that, right? So, uh, we, and we sometimes have to wear the, different the, clothing. Yeah. Sometimes the rain freezes, and that's called snow, and that piles on top of itself. I know where that's going. 
I grew wow. up skiing too, so like I, I kind of know what snow is, sort of. But I never had wow. to do the like you dig did your car out of the... from that young of an age. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I was running around kindergarten going. Ugh. So oh, who who wants to color? Cocaine <laughs> cowboy. This was right. Like wow. Oh god. <laughs> oh my is, god. This is the most pretentious uh podcast I've ever been on and I fucking love it. Okay. I love so it. like I feel like I'm dumbing things down and I he's I just bringing you down with me. I'm like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, let's do this." Yeah. So, bringing it back to the protractors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, if Toronto was in the center of the protractor and you go the farther out you go on the spokes of that half wheel, uh, you know, with the uh, Lake Ontario at the bottom, the dumber the audiences get, and so it's interesting because we, we 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 would we would travel around. And it's like you you get to learn different uh, different kind it's, of audiences. I say that they're dumber. It's more so that they will let they have uh, less of a moral compass or yes, a woke moral that's compass it. That's than it. Toronto proper. Toronto proper people are very uh, gentle. They can't they can't handle because they're being Canadian. Called eh? out. No, no, but that's the thing is, no, in Canadian. Toronto, they're, uh, it's kind of like how uh, French people are wonderful in France, but Parisians are the worst human being known to existence. So it's the same principle where it's like even other French people who live outside of Paris don't like Parisians because they're, they're just pieces of garbage. In the same sense... To people who live downtown Toronto, they're just very pretentious, very um, offended, and you're like, yeah, go fuck yourself, right? Whereas when you leave outside they're, of Toronto, they're also very white as well. Very, the people that are that are offended, um, you can't it, tell, but they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, it's interesting because like sometimes I, I I'm a very ambiguous looking person, uh, but but I'm half Indian, and sometimes I would do like Indian jokes, um, and, and I would preface it by saying I'm half Indian, like at the beginning, but some pe people would walk in, and I would be saying disparaging things about my family, right, yeah. and and, uh, and and they would get get like boo and whatever. It's like you can't say that. I'm like I'm like why? It's like because you're white, and I'm like you you got the wrong lighting. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's it's a it's weird lighting in here. Like, come closer. You you're in the wrong here. It's it's very interesting. Uh, but yeah, I, having listened to a lot of comedy podcasts, um, I I'd say like doing shows in downtown Toronto is kind of like doing them in like deep Portland. If I would have to like make a comparison. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. It's 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 yeah. It'll, it's it'll it's snap weird for you. They'll snap. Part. Okay, so so that that's either like for an LA perspective, that's either Silver Lake or Santa Monica. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds from yeah. what we know of LA, yeah. and we know a lot. We watch a lot of TV up here. Yeah, uh, that sounds accurate. That's... Yeah, I'm from Santa Monica too, so this is like. Hey, really? Yeah. So you are seeing some weird stuff happen mm -hmm. these this 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 last year and a half, right? Like yeah. this has been pretty fucked up. Definitely. It's been like, and the weirdest part was I work in a doctor's office, so I've had to go to work this entire time. Um, Have you, did uh, anyone get it in your workplace or family or anything? Um, none of my family, we had a scare where one of my coworkers, yeah. like roommate got it. So we all right. had to lock down for two weeks and then yeah. ne negative tests come back in. And then back in February, uh, we went. In, we came in one day, and they're like, "All right, you guys are all getting vaccinated. Uh, go go to go to Cedar Sinai. You're you're getting the shot." So, uh, did you? Was it like a Johnson and Johnson situation, or did you get like top tier Pfizer? Like what? It, uh... th this is before Johnson and Johnson revealed that they had it. Well, so yeah. so we got Pfizer. It's a real man to take two Johnsons, right? <laughs> I know. The, I just wish that when like you would get the shot that they didn't give you the your your thing like hey you have the covid shot now it looks like the the card when you yeah. go to like jamba juice and they're like yeah. all right you get like 10 of these card. you have been given the stamp for the vaccination you must yeah. take this wherever you go yeah. and show it upon the police officer requesting it yeah yes. i mean that's not even a thing but it, it's just weird that they're like okay you're gonna want to keep this here's the flimsiest card stock in the universe ah 
<laughs> Look at how fucking bent this thing is. It's, it, it's been in my wallet this entire time. You should get like uh, like that some of that wood varnish thing and like kind of put it on put it on one of the, or, or like those card protectors. Like, did you have like a nerdy friend that like that's into like Magic the Gather Gathering or something? They must have like card protectors. I I do a whole other podcast about a card game called Vanguard, so I am that oh. friend. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Then what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you complaining? You have the solution in your home. Well, I, I don't. It's not like I make. I don't make proxies. Yeah, I just send it's you just... like excerpts from, from a guy. It's like we need to f- fasten something. Do we have tape? Oh, you know? uh, it's it, the problem is like if you take a top loader and put the thing in it, it's not gonna fit in the wallet. It's not gonna fit in my wallet. So yes, <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, all right, here. You know what? I want to be very clear. The yeah. first applause I break don't for, for the I... word top loader. The first applause. <laughs> since, uh, since, they, since they released the washing machine it's on too QVC. fat for the top loader. <laughs> listen. So, yeah. Listen, I want to be very clear and state this from now that I know for a fact that three people on this, on this podcast have all considered... Uh, trying to sterilize some tweezers when uh, flipping over a, an expensive comic, the page. Okay, we've all thought about that. Be like, well, you know, you gotta, gotta preserve it. So you know, you sterilize the tweezers because we're that kind of fucking weirdos. And I dig it. Hey, this God. is fucking hilarious. I haven't really. I, I, I was never really a comic this. person. I, my dad. I, was, I hate though. to tell you this. What? I'm a nerd poser. Oh. <laughs> I never, I never bought a red comics. You're a liar. You're it's a liar. A, you you, you can no, be a different kind of nerd. I'm I know, a I, I'm I a TCG nerd. Money, That's me. Like, oh, I, You're I an like, oh, nerd. You're okay. an employable nerd. That's what happened. Yeah, You're an employable. Uh, nerd. It's different. My, my my parents thought I was going to be an architect or an engineer because I I was obsessed. Or a marine about biologist. <laughs> <laughs> biologist definitely. Listen, I think well, I, I I honestly think they thought like either like engineer or serial killer because i spend a ton of time alone like just in the oh. basement playing lego by myself with the same like playing eight movies yeah. here's sure the thing man i was Le- legitimately just playing with lego like i would make like full-on battle scenes and like and like build like i would take things apart and then rebuild yeah. i, I b- made like a two scale loadable bu- like barge that you could open from the top and load things in it was, uh, you know. Okay, so and, let's let's be honest then. Did you have separated color bricks? I did, and I also had separated out bins with equivalent types of pizzas. Yes. You know. Yeah. yeah. Nick, that is equivalent to the uh, sterilized tweeters. Nick, I'm gonna be super pissed off if it turns out you are a serial killer, and then I have to <laughs> submit this podcast to the news to be like, I knew him before he was found out. Please you know, don't do that. Lego, they, then he started operating on people. That's yeah. what happened. If there's one thing that, that playing Assassin's Creed has taught me is hiding in plain sight. You know? <laughs> if you make the f- hood a fashion statement, you can mm-hmm. just wear it anywhere. You know? There you go. It takes a little bit of fringe, you know? See, I'm kind of like, I, I want to like ask this as a generational question. What is the first video game you remember playing? Well, Super Mario Brothers. Just the one from the eighties, right? The yeah, like uh, yeah, yeah. Super Mario Brothers because we didn't have. I had to go to a friend's house to play it. We didn't have yeah. it. Uh, we got Sega Genesis much later on, which yeah, don't even get me started. But uh, <laughs> that was yeah, it was Super Nintendo. Or it was a uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers like the first one, mm-hmm. not Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So da 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 like just. Yeah. yeah. Um, Where first, the clouds and the bushes are the same, yeah. there's a different color. Yeah. yeah, that's the one. My first one I remember was also I had to go to a friend's house because I didn't get a game system till the GameCube. Uh, and the first game I remember playing was on my friend Justin. He had an N64 and the first Super Smash Brothers. That was the first game I remember playing. And no, Interesting. Yeah, because well, what would happen was th- this friend was a total dick, and he wouldn't tell me how the controls worked and just kick my ass, right? That sounds fair. 
ridiculous. Was he one of those friends that was just like, just press buttons? Yeah, like, it was yeah. that kid. Yeah. 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 That's the worst. Yeah. That's the worst. Uh, and uh, I, I, right after we go through this, I have a fun game that I think we can all um, play together. It's it's called um, uh, it's called uh, up strict parent up the ante because I feel like we could. <laughs> I, I, I've heard little seeds from all of us of, <laughs> of little okay. things that we can kind of drop and 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 go through. Um, but for me also, um, I, I had to go to my cousin's house because they had an N64, uh, and, and I, I believe it was uh, it was a Super Mario uh, as well. Um, however, th- they were both um, they're both female, and uh, we would go over to their house. So it wasn't. And my parent, my parents were very like, you know, you gotta have good manners. So I couldn't just play by myself, and it was very rare that anyone else would want to play. So I, I, I got to play extremely rarely um, until I got a PS2, and I, I believe the first game I played on that was like, um, like right after the Tobey Maguire one had come out. Oh, the like the companion game was to that. That it was, was, it, was right. it was. It was fine. Um, when was that first one? Like two thousand and two or one, something like that. Two something yeah. like that. Yeah, I, I think I think it was it was probably produced two thousand two thousand one because I, I believe in the movie original movie poster there was the two towers. The two yeah. towers were were in the poster, and then they had to like release a, a new poster. Oh, yeah. that, that well, they, the first trailer, right? The first trailer, because it's got the helicopter in between. Yeah. It the reflection of his eye, like it was like a really big stylized yeah. piece. That yeah, you yeah. Could see them in there. Okay, well, I I just have to ask this because and the graphic designers were like, "Well, there's my weekend." Yeah, <laughs> like okay, <laughs> I I have to ask this because uh, when. I met like this is how I measure generations with people. Where were you during 9/11? Because to me, if you were in school during 9/11, you're a millennial. If you were in preschool or not alive yet, you're Gen Z. And if you were in college or older, you're Gen X and above. So that I was in college. Okay. I was in college. I was in second grade. You're in second gr- oh, holy yeah. shit. Second grade. Right back. Yeah, yeah. Uh my my British teacher Ms. Behedry was just like I don't know what's going on. Second What's grade. at the Twin Towers? <laughs> Dude, yeah. that's Oh, that would mess you up. Yeah. I mean, it, it was just the kind of thing where they're like there is no uh, like we have to make an announcement the Twin Towers were hit by uh, oh, where'd that go? He'll be back. Uh, oh. You know, the Twin Towers were hit by two planes, and I was like, what are the Twin Towers? Yeah. I'm, I'm seven, you know? <laughs> well, that, well, that was fun that my yeah. internet decided to cycle right when I dropped that joke. How did it land? Uh, we didn't hear it at all. Oh. did not hear it at all. It's nice. So, wait, where were you during 9 11 then? Uh, oh, uh, um,. Uh, I I don't know I I don't remember I was pre- I was pretty young I I was probably five yeah so I was fuck. five so like yeah. possibly kindergarten but not I, I probably but, in school yeah. um I I think at that point my I was still going to the same school that my mom taught at so she probably just took us home or something like that or I, actually no I think at that point she was only teaching in the afternoon so she probably just we just probably didn't go to school that day and yeah. She, didn't show us the news so i remember that happened for i was at uh i got to college and i had no idea what was going on because i was i was uh i was i had my own car so i I drove over there and it was because it was only like 20 minutes away and i was getting a class and as soon as i walked into the the student center where people were already drinking i was like why is what the fuck's happening they're like yeah apparently this happened i'm watching the news going Oh shit! And actually, at the time, all of my family. So my dad had his own business, and we had, we had all gone to Greece that summer. Yeah. So essentially, we had overlapped all of our vacation time. So there was a two-week period where we were all together at the at our house mm-hmm. in Greece, and so I was the first one to come back, and everyone else was still in Greece. Interesting. And I was like. Uh, and the funny thing is, so when they were trying to come back, my uh, one of my brothers, he's two years older than I am, he has he stands out amongst my family because he has a complexion like Nick's, uh, and that comes from my mom's side of the family. It's just, it just sometimes happens, and uh, they didn't believe that he was married to his wife. 
Uh, oh. Yeah, because he had he had uh, that color skin where they were like, prove that you're married. And he's like, what? Because it was like they left. It was like two weeks later uh, mm. after 9-11 trying to get back to Canada. And they're like, no, they, they didn't want to allow him on the plane because they were like, we're not allowed to look, allow you on the plane. Like it was a whole big thing. Did he have? Didn't he have like a wedding band or something? Be like, hello. They both had, hey, wedding bands. Her, she changed her name to my yeah. last name too. So, so it's like, it was just because he had like the best thing is in Greece. If I'm I in mean, Greece, to be fair, I can like very when well. they were interviewing him, he was playing with wires and a wire stripper. Like he, he yeah. just, <laughs> like there were context clues. Like they, they, they it wasn't like it was out of nowhere. Yeah. Definitely, I can yeah, barely was, remember uh, airports being like easy to get through like my most... pictures of me and my sister in the cockpit though like of a 747 when we were like kids traveling yeah. with my parents like we had we because they used to have like um in in airports um uh, they used to have like kid passports like where you could have yeah, like little that. kid passports and when you would go on the plane you could get stamped not like from different countries but from different occupations so like when you're going on, it's like the baggage claim person, you know, like you get their stamp, and then the the pilot, you get the the pilot stamp, the co-pilot stamp, and then you like as a kid, you go into the cockpit while, while you're boarding, yeah, um, or during or mid flight, they would open the doors and you can go in and like and sit with them while it's on autopilot. I do remember um, that. Like, yeah, yeah, like you could you could have like I touched the controls. Yeah, like as a child. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you. I could have just nosedived us, you know. You know. Yeah, I wonder why they stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I wonder. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh. So wait, what's yeah. the what, what's this game you have? Oh, oh, I just feel like we we all have um, grew up with like really strict rules in our households. Um, and I, I don't, I don't know if that's the case, but I, I feel like we could all just kind of volunteer things and then, you know, <laughs> naturally like children uh, that want more attention and we'll just kind of up the ante on each other. See, see, see where we get to. How else do you think uh, we became comedians? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, my, I, I I'll, didn't I'll really have. an obvious for 400, Alex. <laughs> that's Atlas. No, uh. <laughs> I I didn't really have strict parents so much that, as that. as I had like you know how there's that one kid in class where he's like what don't all families do this and they're like no you fucking weirdo that that was my family I was the don't we all wrestle the... in mayo in the middle yeah. of something <laughs> yeah. no? uh, why now it, it, like it especially got weird because like my my parents got divorced when I was ten and then they oh, yeah. were in court like fighting it out in court with a judge for eight years what yeah that's too fucking long to be in divorce court that it's supposed to be like a year and then you figure your shit out from there you're like okay here's the custody man you're done did they do like yeah. a documentary about this they, like... sh- they should have no they, they should have pushed it down a staircase it... i just got it <laughs> no. but they could have was... they could have won an oscar like boyhood you know yeah <laughs> Keep Dude. the same actress coming back for like eight years in a row. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's the worst movie ever. Put a time lapse camera like they do for like the the Planet Earth stuff in the corner of the courtroom. Yeah. Just well, kind of see you age in the front row. Well, my my, <laughs> my my sister and I were kept out of the like proceedings completely. It was just the thing where we would be doing stuff and then one of like our 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 mom or dad would just be like, "Okay, so this is just how it is now." And you're like, "What?" "No, what?" <laughs> They're like, "Yeah, oh. you uh you, you go to your dad's on Wednesdays now." You're like, "But it wasn't like that last week." And they're like, "Yeah, that's just how it is." I'm like, "Can we have <laughs> any sort of input?" "No." "Sorry, you're 12. You don't get any input." <clears throat> So, so messed up. Yeah, so so the parents weren't really especially strict. It was the the like the divorce kind of colored everything that had to uh, do with So it wasn't stuff. your parents, it was the man. The man, yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> the man was hard on you. Yeah, the man was yeah. hard on me. What's yours? Your turn. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say my this. thing. I'm gonna say my thing the way like having to follow that makes me feel it's like my parents wouldn't let me watch 
TV during the week like, until I finished my homework on Friday. Oh, I mean, I, to, I, I had that wait too. Wait until I finished but... my homework on Friday to, yeah. to watch, be able to watch TV. <laughs> so, 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 so then I like, so I read a lot of books instead <laughs> because like, that, that was what I could, what they let me do instead of watching TV and play video games. So I just, I just read books. <laughs> That's the three names that voice again ever, ever. Yeah. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh god, and so accurate. I could, I saw that person. Yeah. I've met that person before, and I hated. I kicked them. I kicked them for sure. That was. <laughs> I took their was, lunch money and then. I, I definitely except, stole something from them for except, sure. You know, you know how like accents and voices like stick in your head because like yes. sometimes because like trauma and stuff like that like i think that one's inside of me because like of a woman i slept with who brought that out at the worst time oh, yeah. decided to bring that voice out uh which was horrifying uh and uh but now it's uh you know it's in my bag of tricks <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. that is traumatic in and of itself i wasn't yeah. allowed to watch tv like that yeah kinda. yeah that's uh yeah yeah, but it evokes an emotion, you know. Oh, an yeah. image, my like friend. Like nails on chalkboard. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that was definitely the kid that I would bully. Um, I I I'm not sure if see this is the thing the way you guys have posted positioned these things, I'm not sure if I want to say mine because it's a little bit uh, hmm. Abusive. It's a little bit more aggressive than that. Uh, I mean, almost like we're from different generations. Oh! Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Where's the camera? He, the camera? he did it. He, he figured it out. <laughs> um, yeah, so I it, there's a little bit of a story behind this. This is kind of, uh, uh, I tried to do it as a set once, and it didn't work that well, but it, I'm working on it progressively. But essentially, this is the last time I remember peeing my pants uh, in public. And I was um, uh, I was ten years old. Uh, my brother had wanted to take me. So me and my brother, he was two years older than I was, because uh, all my other siblings are like ten years older than I am. So this brother, uh, he was in the bigger school uh, that had a arcade and a pizza joint close by. So we were gonna go for a bike ride. This is Saturday afternoon. We we're going for a bike ride. Uh, to uh, go get pizza. That's what he told my parents. So we stop in to play video games, and we were uh, upper middle class, so I had money, and we played video games. So 9 o'clock at night rolls around, and I'm almost Sorry, done. Um, you, you just, you, you, not to interrupt, but you said you had money, so can you, like, you just have to do the rest of the story with your pinky in the air, please. But <laughs> continue. Go ahead. Either that or yes. I asked to talk oh, like yeah. this. Yeah. With the upper crust when accent. When dealing with peasants, it's very important. <laughs> that we we <laughs> adjourn to the pizza place. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> or draw a car on the said video, uh, the games of the video. I pumped like $20 into this. Uh, I, it, it wasn't Turtles. It was a different game. It wasn't Ninja Turtles, Simpsons. but it was a four-person. It was a four-person. No, no, no. I had class, so <laughs> they. But it was a four-person game, like Ninja Turtles, something like that. It might have been like Fist of Fury or something. So it's nine o'clock now. I'm ten. My brother's twelve. I'm almost. I've almost beaten this game, and I'm going. I have a crowd of people watching me in this. And this was an arcade that was actually a pool hall, and pool halls. You could smoke in, and it was dodgy as hell during the day. Arcade at nighttime, seedy business area. Were you still doing the Belmont Silvers? <laughs> no, I. Yeah, still, still the same. I smoke. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had one behind my ear. I, 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 I'm I, picturing ten-year-old I, Dino, like yeah. still full beard, yeah. still full beard, <laughs> little, little tiny body, full beard, playing the game. The cigarette yeah. out of his yeah. mouth. Just, and, hat. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone did in the 80s. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. That's how we grew up, you know, with fire. Um, now, one of my older brother's earlier. friends, Sorry. so one of my one of is 10 years older than I am, one yeah. of his friends was there. And he watched my dad walk. So I'm playing video games, okay? okay? Almost beat this game, and all of a sudden I feel my ear get pulled up sideways and i'm like what the and it's my dad oh my god 
all just clicks in that it's nine o'clock at night and my parents did not know where the hell we were. And this is okay, so this would be nineteen ninety when this is happening. So this is peak like there are Satanists and as well people are getting kidnapped randomly, drugs are everywhere. Our area, there was there was a gang of skinheads. Possibly there was no skinheads uh, whatsoever. Yeah, Somebody yeah. shaved his for the summertime, and people said there's skin va- skinheads invading. Okay? Oh, the satanic so, panic! Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, just one seventeen year old got lice twice in a year and was like, "Fuck this," you know. <laughs> uh, so my ear goes up. My dad, by the ear, drags us through this place. Is throws us out into the parking lot, smacks the crap out of us. I piss my pants. And I'm 10 years old, and I piss my pants out of fear and trauma. And mm. then my dad says, now get on your bikes and bike ride home. Use the streets. I'm following you. And he proceeded to follow us with his lights on while we were biking in front of him. To the whole time, my older brother, he's like, I'm going to make a run for it. <laughs> he was going to go off into another random street. Like, we would split up and get away to go home that we both live at. Yeah. That was that was when I was 10. Um, huh. So, I think I won. I don't, I'm not really yeah, sure. Yeah, he, he, he won. We were allowed to watch TV during the week, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised by TV. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you there. A big part of my life. Still not. I think I am peak victim here, so whatever I say goes. See, I I had like I decided, that's, point, that's hard for the course these I days. At any point, I could cancel either of you. Oh, okay, dad. all right. I, like I, 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 I had uh, early two thousands Nickelodeon, so like Golden Age SpongeBob, all that, the Amanda Show, uh, you know, Rocket Power, Wild Thornberry, Did you guys Rugrats. have recess yes. in the states? You you had recess. Yeah, we, we had recess. Yeah. Recess is probably my my favorite like peak kid show ever. Like it, it's the I I I'd have to say it's the best kid show. Like for for the ages of like seven to to eleven or or so. Like mm-hmm. that is the best cartoon. It's a great Atlas. show. Yeah. Oh, like okay. just a side. I, I thought you know, the part. Atlas knew because I thought Recess was on YTV only. I thought it was a Canadian thing. Yeah, but that's it, why, uh, why I, why I we, asked. We we had it on Disney Channel for it, some. Oh, it was and yeah. well so. Because that, see, that is the problem, is that... We had family time, channel. Yeah, we had family channel, but we've never had, like, a proper Disney channel in Canada, because Canadian rules for so TV we say... Satellite. We got satellite at a certain point. Well, yeah. you were a fucking money-grubbing prick who wanted to watch TV Friday night, so obviously you got <laughs> that satellite. Uh, that's why I had because I wanted to watch yeah. CSI. <laughs> that's but legit. Yeah. The first thing I wanted to watch. Yeah, Canadian rules. It has to be thirty percent Canadian content on any content on any channel that is broadcast in Canada. So it's a little weird. That's why Netflix and stuff is is a huge loophole for us to get other programming. Yeah, right? see, it... but even then, we have st- different things on on our Netflixes. You guys have a lot more content. Yeah, but there's still like you know, if I had any sort of pull with anybody. This episode would have been brought to you by NordVPN, but it's not. So, uh... <laughs> well, here you know. Let, let's just let's just get ready. Let, let's you know you know how you, it's like dress for the job you want. Not for um, I, I think you podcast for the audience you pretend to have. Right. So uh, this podcast is brought to you by NordVPN. No, no, because uh, you would want to do that if they're paying us this, for it. Uh, we, <laughs> With NordVPN, you can watch Recess, no matter what postal code. That's right, I said postal code. <laughs> <laughs> zip code, that, that's what we called it in the States, zip code. Oh yeah, 90210, yeah. By the way, Zoe 101. Yeah, Did you I guys ever Zoe watch one. that show? Yeah. Zoe 101, amazing show. It, I, I can't believe that, that it was also an amazing program brought to its knees by teen pregnancy. Like it, it was, it was my. They let they ended that show at a cliffhanger. You never know if Chase is gonna actually end up with Zoe, and it's. I, I speaking of shows it. that ended on a cliffhanger, I'm still pissed off that Netflix canceled uh, uh, the Santa Clarita Diet. 
They did? Yeah. No. They, they, they canceled that it, was really good. and they canceled American Vandal, but they kept 13 Reasons <laughs> Why. Fuck that show. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well, if your show is called... I, like, I that's love Fat part, Drew right? Barrymore. Pretty much. She is so much fun. Okay, Fat if the Barrymore show is, is called great. 13 Reasons Why, and you have 14 or more episodes, you fail. Done. Fuck yeah. you. You fail. Um, well, your options are 13 episodes or 13 seasons. And, like, 13 seasons, like, come on. Like, let's mm-hmm. relax. That's I don't know a little if bit, they're going to pull that's that That's out off. of control. Yeah, but, like, Santa Clarita Diet, they, it, like, there's still unresolved plot threads. American Vandal, okay. It, it's, like, two complete seasons with their own complete stories, which that's fine. But I want to... you guys ever watch sense That was probably no. the, the best best show like like concept show that they that netflix had produced mm-hmm. it it was like it, it was in, incredible i i i couldn't never get into into like the the 13 reason why or even stranger things like i i can't i find it really stranger hard things to like I find enjoyable i i find it really hard to connect with the the story after like the fir- end of the first season i'm like all right like yeah all right. well stranger I, things it, that's like stuff you can kind of remember right yeah, yeah, maybe. And I don't know. I've I, I found it really hard to like. I put it on, and I'm like, I I I can see how people enjoy it, but I don't get it. <laughs> well, I, yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that, though. There's. Yeah. I've been okay. So here's another question: What's the worst thing you've watched during quarantine? So Atlas, this is a little bit un, not fair because you've been working this whole time. But I, I so, was still watching dumb shit the entire still, time. Okay. Well, there yeah. wasn't any. There still wasn't anything for him to do after work. That's you know? true. So, yeah. Same as and fair. also, I was watching stuff during work because uh, I am a one man department. So nice. <laughs> it just turns into this thing where, like, there was literally a, a thing where because I, I do medical records, right? So okay. there, there was a part where someone goes, let me speak to your manager. I'm like, I hate to break it to you, ma'am. But, um, do the, the boops and beeps like come through the same way on vinyl? or What? I, I'm just not familiar with medical records much. I just don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, oh, my God. That, I, I that wish is, I was in the same room as horrible. you so I could hit you. That just fucked you. Yeah. Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> that was so okay. Anyway, uh, the worst thing I watched during quarantine, <laughs> if you please, one of you. I I, I gotta hear yours first, Dino. Oh, uh, yeah. it is uh, the Bigfoot alien connection revealed, which so when I watched it, okay, it's an hour and thirty four minutes long. It uh, it talks about Bigfoot for maybe maybe three minutes, and it is completely fucking batshit crazy now when i watched it it was on imdb it was rated at like 4.2 okay now it's like at a six for some reason i'm telling you it is the absolute fucking worst it's because people's standards have lowered during (laughs) during so much like this is the one thing like i and on that like so there's another thing that i watched was um there's a documentary on uh prime that is called eight twenty. It's eight minutes and twenty seven seconds, and it's essentially if the sun went out, it takes so for sun to leave the sun and or light to leave the sun and hit the earth it takes yeah. eight minutes twenty seven seconds. So if the sun went out, you would have eight, eight minutes, minutes and twenty seconds to live. Yeah, what would you do? And well, you wouldn't have eight minutes twenty seven. You'd have eight minutes twenty seven seconds less, whatever time it takes for them to tell us. Uh, you know, so it's you probably got like what, like three minutes by the time they were like, yeah, that's not enough time for them to panic and kill everyone. Each Why other, do you, you know? have to ruin everything with that's math? Really He's gonna ruin everything yeah. with math. <laughs> yeah. That's you have a, like how long does it take for them to send out an amber alert you know Jesus like, Christ. <laughs> nick what was the worst thing you watched during quarantine well there was this one amber alert that was <laughs> <laughs> no i actually it was probably pretty recent it was uh i tried to watch alita battle angel uh oh. and i tried to approach it with the same like Get high. framework <laughs> and forethought that i treat thanksgiving yeah. and Batman vs Superman, <laughs> and I tried it on Alita Battle Angel, and um, I had to quit before the edible hit. Like, I, wow! <laughs> like, it, it didn't, like it was just like it was like you didn't even wait like, for the cavalry to arrive. Sudden, you just surrendered. I couldn't. I couldn't make it. 
I couldn't Damn, make it. You're like, such a dude. You are a douche now. Now that you're, th- you need to go eat some cheeseburgers, guy. No, no, he's not. A, for, like, you're the like, worst. Like, 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 you know, Chris, whatever, um, you know, the Christoph Nazi Waltz. His name is Christoph, Christoph Waltz. Waltz. Thank you. Say his name, you piece of shit. How dare you? Christoph Waltz puts the puts the robot together, and then all of a sudden, like it, you know, fifteen to twenty five minutes of uh of rollerblading ensued. And I was like, I, I, you know, I had to talk, I had to tap out after minute thirteen of rollerblading. Hey, I like because... that movie Whip It. What's so bad about rollerblading? <laughs> you know, I, I genuinely enjoyed Whip It. Whip yeah. It was a great movie. You know, you got to, you, you got to learn about the rollerblading culture. This had yeah. none of the rollerblading culture. Just all of the rollerblading, none of the culture. Ha- you know. Yeah. Sh- shout out to Elliot Page. That was a wonderful follow up to Juno. <laughs> that, that was a that was a really good movie. I uh, love Juno, but yeah, I love Juno too. Mm. Um, I think the worst thing that I watched during quarantine was I actively sought out and pirated a uh, all of Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. What? Yeah, like it's not on because they were like Paramount Plus wasn't out yet, right? They, they okay. were. They had taken it off everything in preparation of that, so I was like, I am going to go seek out and watch all of Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. It's not that the thing was the worst show, it's that I put that much effort in to go find it. Yeah, I yeah. can get that, yeah. It's still good. It holds up pretty well. <laughs> and and then, uh, the, the, uh, the girl who plays Susie Crabgrass is love interest for most of the show. She's in that Netflix uh, series about Selena. Oh. Uh, Selena, the yeah, series yeah, yeah. on Netflix. That, that's Susie Crabgrass. The, the middle-aged warlock? No. <laughs> no, uh, Selena, the, the, the singer from the 80s and 90s. Oh, there is a separate show called Selena, the Teenage Witch. All right. That's Sabrina, <laughs> the Teenage Witch, you idiot. <laughs> I, I, Wait, is I, there a I, Selena, I, the failing, Teenage Witch? I, I believe yeah. Oh. Selena, yeah. No, Sabrina. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah. That, that's Melissa Joan Hart, though, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, now it's somebody else that looks funny. Oh, okay. She oh, right. Cause, like oh, because they took all the Archie comics and made them, like, dark with, Which like, Riverdale. Which are horrible. My wife loves them, and I I can't function when she has them on. I gave, Riverdale, Riverdale? And on, yeah, I gave yeah. Riverdale an honest shot. I couldn't do it. Couldn't fucking do it's, it. And the funny thing is that I'm like, okay... So some of these girls are hot, but pretending to be underage. So that, I don't want to watch that. And then it's like, okay, I like Kelly Ripper's husband. He's just a fun character. But at the same time, I'm like, his name is Hiram Lodge. I'm, this is a little weird for me. It's It's Veronica's dad. Yeah. It does. It's weird. I don't know. For I can't do any of those shows where it's like where the the love interests are are, are females like in like where they're they're twenty but they're playing seventeen sixteen. I can't I can't. It just makes me extremely uncomfortable. It makes me yeah well, because I, they they, they really like, like over sexualize all of the scenes and like and they play the same music that they do during like if you watch like a rated R film. Like they put the same themes in there, so it's like it, it's like it's like all right, is this about to be like a full on like hardcore scene right now? Like it, like it, it and it's it, that it's laugh like, should never so see the light of day. Just to be clear, that little yeah. that little laugh you did, yeah, don't do that ever oh again. Anyone, is that is how you're going to jail? <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's there, officer. No, That's gross. Well, I mean, he, he's probably the least likely to be sent to jail because he's the youngest of the three of us. Well, yeah, Kelly Ripa. <laughs> Do you remember that from like 15 years ago? That was like supposed to be the burn. People going oh. Kelly Ripa with the snaps. It's, no, I this don't. Is, I don't. Can, so we for me, top tier U.S. stuff. There was no. Like, there was no. There was no. Like, reference connection there at all for me it, i don't so know if just, it's a reference thing it might have been kelly a generational ripa. thing it could have been you like kelly ripa yeah. out of nowhere yeah so i was i was very confused so i was i, I was like, kelly regis ripa was like and regis philbin was like ridiculous i don't think I, it was I, even that it was just because it had the word rip in the name or in the word so you could be like i got you like kelly ripa 
It was a thing I, in my high school. I don't know if what if that was like a California. You did thing? go to high school in L.A. though, so yeah, mm, that's true. And then it just that's a little bit, yeah. Who, who I guess I'll like skateboard to school. <laughs> no, I bike to school, uh, and then later took the the metro to school, but. So yeah, it's like, like, yeah, it's a good subway system, right? Barely. It, it's it's good for east to west, but there's no north south for the most part. Yeah, I get uh, that. It's like the kind were, of thing like, things it, that you only did in the summer, because like it's the same weather. That's all actually year, like like off of when you're not on in school. Like, is there something like special that you do when it's not school? Go to the or is beach. it just like, oh, this weekend's been going for a while? I mean, it would just be like, because remember, for Californians, sweater weather is below 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So, <laughs> 70 uh, degrees Fahrenheit is, is short weather for us. Yeah, pretty much. It, 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 yeah. It, it's like, like, it's almost sweater weather right now, and it's May. Um, and that that's, that's SoCal for you. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. And yeah. SoCal is? Southern California. Such so a fucking Cal. idiot. You're it's the smartest dipshit I know. You know. Fine, right? fuck you. It's You're SoCal and NorCal. That's because like the Bay Area people and the people in like LA and San Diego kind of hate each other. The most fun thing you can yeah. do. And then the people in the middle are just like I don't know wine country. I, no one cares about the middle. Napa. Part. Yeah, Napa. And then anything above the Bay Area is basically Oregon. <laughs> And right. and uh, how do you decide when to use Oregon versus parsley? No, why are you saying no, 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 no. shitty just, jokes? Just, just let him medical have it. records. It's been and so long since I you're spoke. You're the to... worst. Let him have it. It's, it's, All right. It's been so long. I I think this uh, is probably a good stopping point because that jo- fuck you that was terrible. Uh, <laughs> that was so bad. I... Hey, and you know what? Listen, Atlas. He does that regularly on stage to the rap bastard. Things will be going great, and then he'll drop one of those like just for his own sadistic pun. pleasure. Like, his like, own sadistic pleasure. It's yeah. only it's you guys don't do that where you're like, this is just for me. So so like, he, well, oh no, I do those yeah, all the time. Yeah, funnier, you bastard. Yeah, yeah, but just the thing, like you see him like the my wife uh, my wife is starting to miss me, but her aim is improving. Like you're that guy. Uh, no, but her aim is no, getting not. better. It's just I, I, I love I love to see you. I love oh. to see if I can challenge the relationship. I'm like, how, relationship. how much do you like me right Listen, now? Can I sneak this by? Okay. You? <laughs> right now, there was a time, it was a, and Nick actually got me into uh, Absolute Comedy. It was a big comedy club, but for the amateur night. And it's like two hour, two and a half hours away drive. Yeah. So I drive us and drive us back the same night. A lot of drugs. But the point was that even that night, he killed. He did a great job. But I'm in the back. It's a dark room, okay? There was a lot yeah. of people, but I can tell he dropped one just dog shit pun and looked yeah. at me, and he was like, like I know This is for me. you. <laughs> that, that's for you specifically. I literally bent over. I was like, that's garbage. And, and he it, gets a it satisfaction. It, it, oh, got, oh, it, oh. it got a huge pop, great laugh, and I looked at him, and I heard him go, ugh. Uh, no, th- like, th- I this is, if, I, if I was Dino, it, it just would have been me in the back going, ah, uh, fuck you! Like, just yeah. full volume. <laughs> and earlier that night, there was a guy that was... There was a guy that was on stage, and he was he he came in the green room, and he was talking like so tough and so much trash about like how good he is and how much he's been working on his set, and he's like ready for him to go well. Guy goes up there nine minutes, like supposed to be a seven minute set. Guy doesn't see the light and bombs for nine and a half minutes, and we, we were just standing there and we're like, "Is someone okay. gonna throw a chair at him?" Like it gets it, it like people. We were like, people are gonna start to leave. Like yeah. it was, yeah. oh my god! You know that level of bomb where you're like, you, I wanted to crawl out of my skin. Yeah. Like I was like, I, I want to quit comedy right now. This guy's so yeah. bad, he's making me want to quit. Yeah. 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 The, the, there's a the, there's one specific guy in the LA scene who everybody knows because he is the he has an insane work ethic and no talent. You know those people? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I will talk more about him in the next episode, but uh, th- <laughs> thanks for listening to the pilot. Um, where can they find you guys on social media? You can find me at uh, on Instagram at Nick Fernandez Comedy. 
uh, and uh, and my name is Nick Fernandez, unrelated to the uh, the, the handle. Uh, and uh, and this coming Tuesday, I, actually, you know what? This will be out after this. Uh, I have a set on YouTube uh, that you can co- search called Fresh Rice, and uh, I'm not sure what the title is going to be, but it, my name will be in it, Nick Fernandez. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I think it's, good... it's important for people listening to know that his name is Nicholas, not Nick. Is Nicholas Fernandez, okay? And that's Fernandez with an S at the end, not a Z, like you're thinking. Like a weirdo. Yes. Nick is my stage name. Nicholas is my slave name. All right. So I need you to. (laughs) Need you to. Not appropriate. I'm not touching. I'm not touching that one. Definitely not. All right. Uh, Can't touch yourself. I'm yes. Dino the Genetic Marvel. Uh, I'm everywhere. That's uh, easier to find. <laughs> yeah, it just I'm I'm one of those guys that didn't have to add numbers. I'm Dino the Genetic Marvel because they're only yeah. one of me. Because if there were two, we'd have an imbalance in the earth. So you can follow me on Instagram. I have a Facebook fan page. I have a YouTube channel, and I'm all over the place. But hopefully, I'm going to be loading up some new stuff. And uh, but yeah, follow my uh, uh, fan page on Facebook, and I post there regularly what shows I'm doing. Okay, and then you can uh, find me at Atlas Novak, uh, that's N-O-V-A-C-K, uh, on Twitter or Instagram, or you can check out my other podcast, Nexus at Night, if you want stuff about a very specific card game. So, <laughs> that's fun. Uh, <laughs> we, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time, and uh, have a good one. Oh.